Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on Way the Hunter, we're going on an epic hunt. To start off with, we've got an albino chamois right in front of me, which I've just discovered at this lake for the first time. I've been sort of exploring all the middle left-hand side today. I just got the pass for down the bottom as well, and I can't believe how many Himalayan tar I've discovered. Samba deer, chamois, feral goats. So I've got some three-star feral goats I'm watching. I've got some three-star Himalayan tars, and I've just come to this lake to check it out. And then all I've seen is this white glow out of a bush, and we've got an albino chamois. So I'm going to try and take him out. That'll be our first rear at Matriki Park. It's been treating me good. Also, at one of my favourite locations, we've got another five star. We'll be taking that out later in the video as well. So the hunting is good today. I've been exploring mainly, not really hunting, but it's time to get out to stay a monoblock 308. And let's take out this albino chamois. It is such a good rifle. Everybody knows it's probably one of the best there is in Wader Hunter. If you haven't used it already, the Stair Monoblock 308. Absolutely beast. It looks beautiful. And like I said, it's one of the main weapons most people carry. At the minute on Matriki Park, New Zealand, what I've got is the Stair Monoblock 308 as my first gun and I've also got the 338 as my secondary for the bigger stuff so that's what I'm carrying as my loadout let me know in the comments what your favorite loadout is favorite rifle for way the hunter is it stay on a block 308 let me know in the comments what your favorite rifle is or your favorite loadout uh, for most reserves but this is what I'm trying to explore today this bottom left hand corner that open up a few new areas I've been doing some exploring today and uh, like I said it's been going well I found a lot of big groups <laughs> you can't make it up can you you can't make it up look at this <laughs> how many times have you had this happen i normally get on rocks i don't know what it is i could be in the middle of a desert middle of nowhere there's one rock i drive near it and end up on the hull of the utv i don't know how many times it happens we could do with like a flip um to get your vehicle back or something like that it can be quite infuriating, especially if you're not near a campsite or an outpost. And I'm not really, so uh, that's going to mess it up a bit. But uh, we're going to collect this anyway. And then I think what we'll do is we'll go for the five-star trophy animal next. I've been watching, like I say, I've got numerous groups. I've got that many groups now that I've got to work out if I put the day forward, what, what's going to probably die, what's not. And I've got about 10, 15 groups I watch at the same time. So it's starting to get a little bit complicated now of you don't want to like go past another sort of need zone time where one group you're watching is and then that dies of old age whereas you know i mean something else is still alive so it's a bit tricky trying to balance it out um but i've got a sort of routine 11 till 12 at matriki bay you see so many animals so if you want a general good time 11 till 12 right uh, midday and you will see a lot of animals around a lot of locations and that's what i'm kind of doing i've been watching my albino whitetail he's only a one star at the minute he's a bit of a little bugger to be honest because um <laughs> where he where we first seen him when i did the video the other day and i first spotted him that was the first time i ever seen him um he's not there most of the time <laughs> so for I've, I've been two days already and i've checked there and he's not been there once and then I'm, i moved to another location i thought where's the little git where's he gone and i found another location where he just lies down so i'm hoping he's there most of the time now but his genetics was not very good for this albino chamois but it's still an albino so it's a nice rare but the genetics was never going to be good he's probably make what two star maybe three uh, so i just thought i'd take him out so there we go, our first rear at Matriki Park. We'll have a closer look at the albino chamois. I do like to look at the models, the animals, to see what they look like. And uh, this is an absolute stunner. It's no exception to what all the other models are like. But uh, you'll notice the stunning like blue eyes on the albino chamois. It's a pinkish nose. But the fur and the actual model is really well done can't fault the nine rock game devs uh, how they make the models or the animals they're absolutely stunners all of them but he is an absolutely pretty boy but there you can see stunning blue eyes slightly pinkish sort of nose it'd be nice to get a really big one of these 
I might come across one. Fingers crossed, you never know. I'm hoping my Albino Whitetail makes a four or five star. We will soon see. He's got the chance. He's only a one young star at the minute, so uh, he's only a baby. So got to let him grow yet. Now back to the home of the monsters. <laughs> it seems like it at this campsite. It really does because it just rains five stars of loads of different species. I've had a five star white tail on my right. I've got one that's um, three or four star on my right still in another group. I've had two uh, five star red deer from this area and I've got another five star red deer in front of me. These are just absolute monsters in this area. There's something in that water they're drinking. I don't know what it is, but it just rains five stars at this location. It's middle right campsite. And uh, if you know this location, it is absolutely amazing. We're going to try and take him out. I had, I think it was like three, four stars in this group. Uh, the last time I checked, one's died. And there's one, I think, on the right and one that's made a five star so one died i was hoping to make another five star but we've got one one more so i'm happy with that and uh trophy lodge is filling up with five stars now i'm loving it how's your hunting been have you had any big trophies this week let me know you're watching any special animals that you're hoping make a five star good luck if you are i hope you all get what you're after i enjoyed a really fun hunt in the last video we went for a five star helmeted guinea fowl i'd never hunted them before either and it was with the shotgun so it's a nice uh, refreshing change to hunt for other than like the rifle and deers i like to mix it up if i can i might do some bow hunting next would you like to see that let me know in the comments i'm gonna try and take out this big five star first though it's a bit awkward with how he is right in the middle of this group i hope they don't run because they're quite close now yeah, I've got a big white tail on my right as well. I've been watching where I had the five star white tail deer. Uh, previously, same group again. So this area is just full of five stars. I don't know what it is. Like I say, it might be the water, it might be the grass are eating. I don't know what it is, but the monsters are at this location. I love how they jump when you shoot them. That should be good. It should be at least a lung, I think, that one. Is it going to drop? Hopefully we made a nice clean shot. We're using the 338. For the big game, it's what I normally use. Yeah, it's going down. And there we go. So, another five star going in the trophy lodge. What we can do is, when we go over on the right, we might spook some of us. Um, but I just want to see if these white tail are here. If you want to know where we are, this is the campsite we're at. It's absolutely amazing. All around this area, there's a lot of big trophy animals. So make sure you check it out. Come about 11 till 12, yeah? And like I say, this area's got some really good trophies. But here's a white tail. He's a four star. So he may make five. That's where we had a five star white tail there previously. But we've got a three and a four there. So like I say, there's something about this area. And big trophy animals i could do with like an albino female or something like that because i have got a multi mount with a female and the five star white tailed deer i've already got so it'd be nice if we could get an albino female white tailed deer i don't want to push my luck <laughs> but it would be nice we'll try and look out for one but yeah if you want to see any animals hunted let me know in the comments it doesn't matter what animal it is what reserve it is if there's any popular theme people want to see, then I go and hunt it. It's that simple. But yeah, wild boar is one of my top three at the minute. I want at Matriki Park. Would I like a five-star wild boar? Have you had a five-star wild boar? Let me know in the comments. But yep, here we go. Absolutely monster five-star red deer at Matriki Park. Based off world record stags. So that's why they are ginormous. 338 and it was a right long so try and get a vital each time but yeah i'm in tricky part giving up the goods as usual 92 percent on the genetics we could sell him for 481 cash we need to get some cash back up because we're taxidermizing all these trophies now and uh, we're getting low on cash 37 kilo we lost in meat. You often lose about 35 kilo on red deer with the 338. He scored 465. 
We'll have a quick look at his antlers, and then we'll go to Trophy Lodge and look where we're going to put these new trophy animals in my Trophy Lodge. But yeah, I do enjoy these hunts. Like I say, I can't wait to go for the Himalayan tour. Like I say, I've spotted like probably eight or nine really big groups of them now, and there's like two and three stars in most of these groups. So we should be doing a five star hunt on the Himalayan tour soon. Also, Feral Goat, I've seen a three star at one of the groups I like the look of, so he might make four or five stars. So we'll be hunting him soon. Right, let's have a look in the trophy lodge and where we're going to put these brand new trophies. So there's my five star whitetail deer, five star Rocky Mountain elk, two five star red deers. We've got another one of those to stick somewhere, which I don't know where we're going to stick him. Five star helmeted guinea fowl. So we've got to put this uh, five star red deer. We'll stick him here where you just walk in. I'm not sure where we're going to put the albino chamois. Well, I'll look at some of these trophy mats and see where we can put him. I haven't really looked around the trophy. I've had a like quick look, but I haven't looked at all the mats and what you can place yet. So when I look at each one of these, it's, it's brand new for me each time. But that's how I like it. It's uh, exciting and that looks well. But we want to get a female. I'd like to get a rare albino whitetail there to put with that other male if we can. Can we stick the albino here? Nope. No chamois on this one. Oh, we can do a multi-mount for the helmeted guinea fowl. I'll have to remember that one. I actually went back there yesterday shooting a few of them and I was having the right laugh. So you should try it. If you haven't hunted those helmeted guinea fowl, give them a try because they're a lot of fun. I know there's quite a few pheasants now. Can we stick him here? Come on, he's got to be somewhere here for the chamois. <laughs> You've got to have a lovely platform. Can we stick him here? Let's have a look on this one. Yes, right. So we can stick him here. So we found a location to put our albino chamois. What a great day's hunting. It's been a lot of fun this week. We've had a lot of trophies. We've explored, found a lot of new locations with a lot of good animals, which we're going to watch and see how they progress. So I'm Romit Tube. We've been hunting at Matriki Park, New Zealand. We've had an albino chamois and a five-star red deer. So great hunting. I hope you enjoyed the video. For Way the Hunter. I'm Matt Tube. Please subscribe to YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.